trials, oh God. We thank you for a sunny day, oh God. We thank you for being in our right mind. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Thank you, God. Oh, bless us on this day, oh God. Bless this service of today, oh God, in the name of Bless our speaker on today. Bless her, oh God. Word of mouth, in the name of Jesus. Bless our bishop and our pastor and our first lady. Oh God, bless us, oh God, as we come, as we in your presence right now, God that we would glorify, we would not fail to tell you yes, oh God, that we would not fail to magnify you, oh God, that we would lift your name up on high because you are great God, oh God. We love you on today. We give you glory, we give you honor. Hallelujah, bless your name, oh God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray, and I thank God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Bless you, Holy Temple. I'm coming from the Old and the New Testament. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct their path. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And then Romans 8 and 28 tells us, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. And the reading of the Lord is blessed. Well, praise the Lord, saints. I said praise the Lord, saints. I said praise the Lord, saints. I said, praise the Lord, saints. How you doing this morning? Happy Sunday and happy Mother's Day. Turn to a mother next to you and say, happy Mother's Day. You're looking very lovely today. Come on, let's give God a thunderous praise. Because if it had not been for the Lord that was on my side, where would we be? I thank God today. I give an honor to God. Who's the head of my life? I thank God the God for being saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. And I thank the Lord for saving me, keeping me, and blessing me. Thank you for new grace and mercy every day, Lord God. Thank you for protecting me as we slept last night. I just thank God this beautiful Sunday, sunny day. Are you guys glad to be in the service one more time? I can't tell. Are you glad to be in the service one more time? Are you glad to be in the service one more time? All right, praise God. And at this time, 
I'm going to turn it over to the pulpit, to one of the elders, so they can bring up our illustrious Bishop Walker. Let's give God a hand of praise. Let us stand. We present to you at this time the pastor of Northern Illinois jurisdiction and the bishop and the bishop of Friendly Temple Church of God in Christ and the next general board member, Bishop Edwin M. Walker. Let's clap our hands for the Lord, Bishop Walker. Amen. You can take your seats. You can search high and low. It doesn't matter where you go. You won't ever find me. Find nobody like the Lord. You can search high and low. It doesn't matter where you go. the Lord, nobody like Jesus you won't ever find, nobody, nobody like Jesus you won't ever, ever, ever find, you can search high and low. search high and low it doesn't matter where you go you won't ever find find nobody like the Lord nobody like Jesus you won't ever find there's no like Jesus, you won't ever, ever, ever find. I've had many friends before. They said they never let me down, but they had problems of their own. That's why I come to tell you there's nobody like the Lord. Jesus, you won't ever, ever, this is your testimony and mine too, I've had many friends before, they said they never let me down, but they had problems of their own, that's why I come to tell you, I come to find out there's nobody lying. Lord. Come on, y'all, help me say You won't ever There's nobody like Jesus Like Jesus You won't ever, ever Nobody like Jesus Come on, y'all, that's an easy song Like Jesus You won't ever Sopranos, nobody like Jesus. You won't ever find. Nobody like nobody like Jesus. You won't ever, ever, ever find. Now come on and give 
give the Lord praise if you know there's nobody like him. Come on, give the Lord praise if you know there's nobody like him. Come on, we came to praise the name of the Lord. We came to lift up the name of Jesus. Where's your praise at? Come on, praise us. Where are you? Thank God he's woke you up this morning. This is the day that the Lord have made, and nobody else can make a day. Come on and give him glory in this house. Come on and bless him in this house. Come on, bless him in this house. Come on, open your mouth up. I'm going to wait on you a little bit. Come on, I'm going to wait on you a little bit. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the praise. And I know you didn't come this morning to just look around. But God has been so good, I've got to praise him. He's been so good, I've got to bless him. He's been so good, i got to wave my hand. He's been so good, i got to open my mouth. He's been so good, i got to tell him thank you. He's been so good, i got to leap for joy when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me. Man, I've got to cry out and give him glory. Man, nobody like him nowhere. Man, nobody can save you like him. Man, nobody can deliver like him. Man, nobody can heal like him. Man, nobody can turn it around like him. Man, nobody can lift you like him. Man, nobody can help you like him. Man, nobody can bless you like him. Man, I'm going to give him glory because he's worthy of the praise. Open your mouth and give him glory. Open your mouth and give him praise. Open your mouth and bless his name. Oh, he's worthy. Oh. Turn to your neighbor and say, can't nobody do you like Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> my, 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 he's worthy of the glory. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hallelujah. Thank God. Well, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, everybody just praise the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. God bless you. Take your seat in the house of the Lord. Amen. I just thought I'd wake us up. <laughs> we serve a God that is absolutely worthy of all of the glory you can give him. Whatever breath, whatever ability you still have in your being, you need to give it to him in the form of a praise. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. The very fact that he woke you up this morning and you're still clothed in your right mind, that's another reason for you to give him glory. He didn't have to do it, but he did. You've been through enough that could have wiped you out, but look at what God did for you, where he brought you from. The devil had a hold of you, but God snatched you out of his hand, cleaned you up, washed you and made you new. He sanctified you, he purified you, washed you in his own blood. You owe him all the praise, anything you can give him. You ought to wave at him, you ought to holler at him, you ought to leap for him, you ought to run for him, you ought to shout for him. He's worthy. <laughs> Hallelujah. And some of you all know what you told the Lord. You, you promised the Lord, Lord, if you save me, I'm going to live for you. Then some of y'all said, Lord, if you save me again, I promise you I won't go back. Then some of you said, Lord, if you get me out of this one, And he did his part. 
and you owe him the glory. Amen. We certainly thank God for being here on this morning. And it's good to be in the house of the true and living God. Amen. It's good to be here. And I uh, thank God that uh, we're not a participant in one of the funeral director's services that's coming up. But thank God I'm here by the grace of God. And let me not fail to say to all of you precious women of the Lord that have children, you aunties that take care of children, and you precious sisters of the Lord, happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. God bless you. Some of the most blessed people in the world are the mothers. Amen. And we certainly thank God and celebrate you. I was just telling my wife that Mother's Day is unlike any other day. We celebrate Mother's Day beginning Friday. We celebrate Mother's Day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and parts of Monday. Amen. Mother's Day is a big deal. <laughs> Amen. It's a big deal. You ever notice when you were small, you could say your daddy and nothing. They say your mama. They didn't even say what your mama did, but it's time to fight. Amen. Don't mess with my mama now. <laughs> Don't mess with my mama. Amen. Welcome to all of our precious visitors that are here. God bless you. Hey, Mother Jackson. Amen. Is in from Texas. My God. She got children everywhere. Amen. And she's in from Texas. God bless her. Any visitors we have with us, just stand where you are. We just want to celebrate and honor and acknowledge you. Come on. Let's say hey to our visitors. Hey, man. Let's say, hey, there they are. Come on. Wave at them. Y'all wave at the visitors. Say hey. All right, all right. Y'all can sit down. We just, we like the kids. We don't need nothing. Look, when they get here, act like you got some sense. And no sooner they get in the house, you're running all over the house. And amen. That's us. We just acting like we don't have no sense. God bless you all. We're going to go on with the furtherance of our service. We certainly honor these elders. God bless you to all of our mothers. Certainly Mother Brown, who's going to be speaking for us in just a few uh, moments. And uh, to my own wife, this pretty girl in the world. Amen. My girl. Amen. I seen her face in the picture show. No, don't y'all start that. Amen. Have you seen her? There she is. Amen. God bless you all. And uh, we're going to go on with the furtherance of our service. And uh, we thank God for each of you on today. And I pray that before this service is over, we may be able to lay hands and pray for you. Amen. I'm feeling that more and more, the need to pray for the people. And I'm talking about the anointing of oil and hands being laid. I feel that more and more a need for it. Amen. Come on, our MC is coming back and uh, she's going to take us further in the service. You're doing a good job, Sister Stephanie. I know you ain't calling nobody but me, but you're doing a good job. Come on, give her a good hand as God she comes. God bless you, Bishop. God bless you. Let's give a round of applause for our Bishop. One more time. A hearty amen. Amen. And at this time, we're going to have Sister Tanisha Morris with God Created Mothers. Let's give her a good ovation. Come on, y'all can do it better than that. Let's encourage her. Yes. Amen. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. I give honor to Bishop Walker, the pulpit and all of the saints of God. And I'm going to talk about God created mothers. So when I thought about this, um, the scripture that came to mind was Romans 8, 35 to 39. And I won't read all of them, but it says, who shall sh separate us from God's love? Shall tribulation, distress, persecution, um, sword, peril, or nakedness? And you can read the rest of the scriptures on your own. But I thought about that scripture because I think that God used mothers a lot of times to remind us of his love, his undying love for us, his protection, compassion, his care, his teaching, um, his leadership. And a lot of times you would hear moms say that they would do anything for their child. And it don't matter if they're uh, from the White House to the prison cell, 
a mother's love never changed for her child. And so when I thought about that scripture, what can separ separate a mother's love from her child? And it's the same way that God feels about us. So God used the mothers as an example of his love. So his protection, the scripture says that God is, a re God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. And we know that any mother is going to protect her child, whether it be a human mother or an animal mother. You cannot touch a mother's child. She, she, she going to be on point when it comes to her kids, and she ain't going to let them be harmed. And so it's just like God. He is our refuge. He is our strength, and we're strength to our children. We're strength to those around us, even the kids that don't belong to us. I believe that God put in us these things that we need to be a mother, and they were already wrapped in us. Compassion. God gave mothers compassion. The scripture said the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The love is good to all. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. And a lot of times before a mother truly gets angry, you had to really push her to her limit before she really got angry. So that's slow to anger and compassionate. And most of the time we know that they don't deserve it whatever the, um, the thing is that's being done. But just like God, he shows us compassion anyway. So God has given mothers that. Like, I know you don't deserve this, but I'm going to give it to you anyway because I love you. And the care, we know that God cares for us. And mothers, they have this extra care and protection that they give to those they love, to their children and to those that love. And a lot of us have been fortunate to have the love of an auntie that's been mothering, the, the love of your real mother, the love of a grandmother, the love of a great-grandmother. And we know the special care that mothers give. Also, teaching. Mothers have it in it to teach. And most of the time, we teach by example. We teach by example in what we do and how we live and the kids learn from us and that's what they follow. Our example and our leadership, we become their leaders. And just as God lead us, we lead our kids and we lead our family. And so I just wanna encourage the mothers on today to let you know that God will provide all that you need. God will give you the grace to get through it. Um, God cares for you, God loves you. And as Mother Brown always say, God is concerned about what you're concerned about. And God is going to answer your prayers. He hears the prayers of the righteous in his ear. is open until your cry. So I just want to tell you to be encouraged on this Mother's Day and have a blessed Mother's Day. Amen. Beautiful. Sister Tanisha Morris, let's give her another hand clap. At this time, we're going to have a selection from the praise team. Say amen. Come on, get with us, y'all. Let's give God some praise this morning. Yeah. 
dry bones become made as flesh. And these are the days of your servant, David, building a temple of praise. And these are the days of the harvest, the fields of
guess what? There's no God like Jehovah. 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 There's no God like You just don't understand. Every day, I assistant manager for a senior building. And some of the residents' families have been neglecting the seniors. And then, when they can't do what they're supposed to do, they come to us. I've been threatened to be shot in the face. I've been threatened for my tires to be cut out. But oh God, God is my savior. He is my savior. He is with me at all times. I thank the Lord that he has protected me during this trial and tribulation. And Lord, I know the change is coming. I thank the Lord, hallelujah. I need y'all to be praying with me that we can get over this thing because God can do all things, all things, all things. I trust you, Lord. You got my back, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God, there's no God. No one before him. Nobody like him. There's nobody like him. There's nobody like him. No, not one. No, not one. No, not one. Hallelujah. I can't help it. I just can't help it. He's been so good to me. Lord, I know you got my back. You got my back, God. Hallelujah. It's already done. The prayers are already being answered. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I'm going to keep shouting till I get that breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name, Jesus. Bless the name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I look to the hills and with them in my help. I know you are my strength. I know you give me peace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 H
Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, I praise you. 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 My God, my God, my Savior, my Deliverer, hallelujah. Woo. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Woo. I just had to get that out. I just had to get that one out. Woo. My God, today, Jesus. Woo. Woo. And next on the program, we are calling our sister Deborah Foster on the importance of motherhood. Let's give her a good hand clap of praise. Wow, what do I do after that? <laughs> but ask the Lord to use me. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. Woo. I'm like, wow, okay, okay. <laughs> First, giving honor to God, who is my all in all my way maker, my fixer, my creator, my savior. For I am saved and filled with the precious gift of the Holy Spirit. I give honor to Bishop Walker, my pastor, Lady Walker, the elders, the ministers, my handsome husband, sugar in my coffee, all right now. I give honor to my mother-in-law who's watching, my mother in love, Mother Newell. I give honor to Mother Brown. I give honor to all you beautiful people in the sanctuary today. Thank you, Sister Sharon, for giving me the opportunity. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to the young in the season and all of the men that are mothering because they are men that are mothering too. So I'm talking about my topic today is the importance of motherhood. <laughs> Brown, thank you. God bless motherhood. It is a nurturing life for glory of God. He created all things for his glory. So to put it direct, motherhood is about nurturing. God has created and equipped women to nurture the life he created, both biblically and spiritually. A continual pattern throughout creation concerns the importance of our future. The first record is statement that God made after creating male and female was be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth, Genesis 1 and 28. Did you know that the word mother has been a spinoff in the Bible 232 times in the Old Testament? And in the New Testament, it's 96 times. Wow, mother is powerful. In the Old Testament, Motherhood was perhaps the deepest desire of a woman. The Old Testament teaches us the powerful influences mothers have. 
not only on their children, but on the entire nation and future generations to come. Wow. When I think about generations now, ooh, it blows my mind. I feel sad and hurt because many women are not allowing God to prepare them for motherhood. It doesn't seem like God is in their life, in their minds, in their hearts. He's not even in their daily walk. They don't even think about God. They just think they got it all on their own. Mothers today are busy with the microwave, quick fix society, where we wear so many hats in our daily existence. We know that. Well, I'm not going to name all the jobs and duties that we do in the home and outside the home, the daily responsibilities, the tasks, because I will be standing here all day and night talking about mother's duties. But you know the many heavy hats you wear. We live in this day where the many women have forgotten their roles as mothers, forgotten their roles. The roles are being misplaced between mother and child. We must remember that children are a gift from God in which we should speak good things in their life because we're always talking about negative things. Not all mothers, but a lot of mothers, they don't mean it, but they do it without thinking because of the day we are living in. Our words are powerful, mom. We, got, we have to know that everything we say, it has power behind it. There is so much evil in this world around our kids today. As mothers, we must be consistent in our prayers, shaping their characters, keeping them safe, caring for their emotions, their physical, spiritual, mental, and the traditional needs that we have there. We want them to remember those needs. We must be bound and established in our children's lives. A godly mother builds up her house. Proverbs 14 and 1. Watching my mother and my grandmother caring for their families as well as people around them. They were committed to God, family, church, and in the midst of their hard life coming from the South, it was about holding on to faith of God and his unchanging hand. I learned so much just from watching those women, watching their lives, because our lives are being watched daily, often, all the time. So we want to stay godly all the time. A godly mother seeks godly counsels and listens and receives instruction. Not just listen, but receives the instructions that you get. Proverbs 19 and 20. Being a mother is not always all glorious, okay. And it's not always joyful all the time. Because <laughs> one of the hardest parts about being mother is I gotta speak on this, is losing a child. Cause that does happen. Losing them many ways. You can lose them through death, lose them through prison, lose them just walking out of the house and never coming back. So which I know firsthand on this is no mother wants to be in a club of losing your child. It is important that we trust God in that moment and keep the faith and the words and the promises that he has for his people. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and empires me, Philippians 4 and 13. Mothers, let's go back to the kitchen table with good food. Not like Big Mama. Now, we don't all have to do that. We got food in the boxes we can use now. <laughs> you know how that is. And we don't have to do it every night in Big Mama style, but we want to do it. Learn to have fun again, play games, communicate. You know, let's put away those uh, devices, electronic and the cell phones. Let's put them in a basket and sit them down and get back to talking and communicating with our children and find out their needs, their desires, their wants as they find out about our needs, desires, and wants. Just try one day a week. Believe me, it will work. And then build on it from there. You know, you'll be surprised at the outcome when you tell your children when they come in, hey, let's put this down for a moment. Let's, let's, not, let's tune out the world and just tune into each other. So it's the thing of it is, invest in your children, invest in your grandchildren, in their life spiritually, for their growth. Train up a child in the way they should go, and even when he's old, he will not depart. Proverbs 22 and 6. For we are powerful overcomers, beautiful and perfect vessels. There is nothing, there's not a motherhood book out there, handbook, except for the Bible. That's our book. That's our way maker. 
So we must continue to use our God-given resources to nurture our children's well-being for the glory of Christ. Amen, and thank you all for this time. That was beautiful, y'all. That was beautiful. Let's give another hand for Sister Deborah Foster on the importance of motherhood. And at this time, uh, we're going to have a children's church presentation uh, featuring missionary Arlene Brown. Let's give the kids a hand. Let's give the future. This is our future. This is our future. Can we encourage? This is our future. Our babies. Today. We thank God. Happy Mother's Day, mothers, to the well addressed house. Well, on behalf of the Children's Church, we do want like to do a presentation for our mother's board. Uh, these women of Zion have labored, even though they had their anniversary, they had uh, their program on last week, but every year, Children's Church like to bless these women of Zion for their faithfulness, for their steadfastness, for their prayers, their pray for the children's church. And we thank God for all these, uh, thank God for all you mothers, even the mothers that allow their children to come to children's church. We thank God for you. But we just like, want to give a special presentation to our mother's board. So we're going to start it off. And Mother New Mother Newell is not here, but I thank God for her. I, I, she, she's a very special woman to me, and uh, she's coming in the door. Look at here. Thank God for Mother Newell. She's coming in the door. As we know, she lost two brothers and everything, and uh, she's been going through, but God has kept her. Amen. Mother Perry. She's not in the house. Thank God for Mother Perry. Mother Perry is out praising our mother on the mother's board. She'll praise him all over this place. Mother Lyles. Mother Lyles, can you raise your hand so the children can see you? Raise your hand. Raise your hand for me. Mother Logan. I saw her. She had to leave. OK. Mother Perry, she's not here. Okay. Mother Lewis. Mother Lewis. Okay. Um, I don't forget my mother's name. Uh, Mother Neely. Mother Neely, can you raise your hand, please? We got a young mother on the board, mother, Sister Keith. Sister Mother Keith, can you, can you raise your hand, please? She one of the youngest members. Mother Brown. I believe I've done all of the mother's board. But last but not least, we do always honor the mother of this house. We love Sister Lady Walker. Can you give a good God bless you for our first lady? She's not only the mother of this house, but she's the first lady of the jurisdiction. And we try to take care of her. Even though she have a, uh, for, uh, her appreciation on next Sunday, of course, I would not be here on next Sunday, but we're going to appreciate her this Sunday, as always.
Lady Walker, we really do love you. She comes back to Children's Church every once in a while to make her presence. And we understand she's a very busy lady. Now, that's something that you really got to like. It's very unique. Cause we, she's a unique person. She really, she's very different. And we appreciate her differentness. If that's a word, is that a word, differentness? Hey, I just made it up if it's not. On behalf of Mother Brown, she asked me to do this presentation for this one mother um, on her mother's board. This woman always trying to celebrate everybody's birthday. She celebrate, if she knows your birthday, she's gonna buy you a cake. So we, <laughs> on, on behalf of Mother Brown, Mother Lyles, she appreciates you. So we, we give you your flowers now because her birthday is next week, or no, this upcoming week. Nanny too. Thank you so very much for this space. Allowed us, huh? No. Did, did I miss anybody on the mother's board? Did I, I don't believe I did. Okay. Who? Mother Ashford. That's who this extra bag is. Is she here? Okay. I knew I had the extra bag. I just didn't have the name on it. Thank you. God bless you, Mother Jackson. It's good to see you. Amen. Thank God for the mothers. What Mother Brown say, don't count the mothers out. Don't count the mothers out now. <laughs> Thank God for that presentation. And at this time, we're going to turn it over back to the pulpit for our offering. Say amen. amen. Somebody say amen again. Amen. amen. We're having a wonderful time on Mother's Day. Let's give the mothers a hand. Amen. My mother's been gone ever since I was 14 years old, and I still miss her to this day. If your mother is alive, you have a wonderful, wonderful blessing. Amen. We really love our mothers Amen. They are so full of wisdom, so full of graciousness. Amen. They spoil us rotten. It is just wonderful to have a mother. Amen. They give you so much confidence. At this time, we're going to raise our offering. Amen. Exactly what, uh, how we're going to, well, come on, Brother Bishop, got to help me. Is a uh, mother, is this a regular offering? All right. Amen. Just a regular offering on Mother's Day. Amen. Amen. So if you do want to pay your tithes and offering, and you should pay your tithes and offering, don't give God a tip. Give him your tithes. That's one-tenth of your earnings. And he will bless you bountifully for that. Let us stand at this time. Oh, holy and merciful God, we thank you, Lord, for offering time. We thank you, Lord, for this anointed part of the service that you have ordained for everybody to take part in. Lord, we ask you, God, to bless our offering 100-fold. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Everybody say amen. Just follow the directions of the uh, praise team, I mean, of the uh, finance team. I'm sorry. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. You can give by Givelify online. You can also, if you want to give by your card, there's someone in the back ready to receive your card. Thank you. Let's say amen. Amen. If you did not walk, the deacons and the minister will be glad to come to you. If you didn't walk, just elevate your hand and they will gladly come to you.
all right, that being all, did everyone give? You may remove the offering. Let's say amen. Amen. You may remove the offering. Amen. We thank God. Now at this time, we're going to go further. Okay, so we're supposed to have a instrumental music uh, selection, but unfortunately, uh, Brother Gabriel is not present, so we're going to have a selection from the praise team. Amen. Amen. Praise them. 
And everything that has breath. And everything that has breath. Let everything that has breath. Let everything that has breath. Give him the sound of praise. 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 Give him the sound. Everybody in here, I don't care if you sitting down, standing up, I don't care if you had a bad night, I don't care if you don't feel your best at the moment, but praise is comely for the upright. I want everyone in here without the assistance of instruments, I want you with your own mouth, the own breath that the Lord gave you this morning, to use your breath in your mouth and give glory to the Lord right now. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. There it is, your breath in your mouth, your voice that God gave you. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Oh, he's worthy of the glory. Oh, we bless you all the day long. Jesus, my strength all day, my peace and my deliverance. My hope and my healer. We give you, ay, 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 we give you glory. You cut near the road, sad now. How? We bless your name. Nobody like you. Nobody like you. Nobody like you. Hey, that's it. Clap your hands and bless him. Clap your hands and bless the Lord, oh, my soul. And all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Take your seats for just a moment. Woo. Thank you. Because he's a worthy God. That's why. Why y'all do all that praising and dancing and all of that stuff? Because he's a worthy God. Because he is a worthy God. Congratulations, Mother uh, Lyle will be 92 next month, or in a few days, not next month. Amen. Mother Newell, where is she? Mother Newell, how old are you now? 92. 91 in July. Come on, let's give it up for her. We God bless you. We're glad to see you, Mother Newell. Amen. God bless you, Mother Lyles. These are our oldest mothers. Amen. Thank God for them. And, uh, God bless these precious mothers in Zion that the Lord has blessed to be a part of our lives that we learn and glean from every day. Thank God for you all that supported us in our dinner on the other night. Thank you. We really appreciate the scholarship dinner. And um, I don't know which one it is. Uh, Elder Parks, is he here? Elder, I see Sister Parks, and I know she's got these twins. And one of them just graduated with a doctorate. Stand up, let's see you, which one? Come on, give it up for y'all. Woo! <laughs> All 
All right. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. And uh, what's, what's your name now, Dr. Who? This is Dr. Tatia Parks, y'all. Woo! Give it up for her. And uh, I know that on Mother's Day, Sister Parks, I know you're so godly proud for your, your girls. Amen. And Elder Parks, we, congratulations to you. And uh, that's wonderful. Uh, and uh, in case some of y'all don't know, just to let you know, that's with a D. That's, that ain't right. That's hard work. Amen. So we congratulate you. Amen. We congratulate you. Uh, we thank God we have just blessed mothers in Zion here at Friendly Temple. We've always been blessed with wonderful mothers down through the years. And when I speak of mothers, I, I, I'm talking about our mother's board, our senior women of our church. Down through the years, we've always had a, just a plethora of blessed women of the Lord that have uh, been able to help a man and minister in the house. And I won't uh, start calling names because inevitably I will miss one or two and I certainly don't want to offend anyone by not acknowledging your loved one. But just to say that we have been blessed through the years with so many wonderful mothers and mothers are excellent teachers. Mothers are excellent teachers teachers. When you read the Proverbs 31, it's always a challenge because most of our women know that verse or those verses who can find a virtuous woman or prices far above rubies. And we read that and uh, most of our women know that. The problem that we have with that verse is that it was actually, actually a mother talking to her son. The problem is our sons are not looking for the virtuous. Let me stop that. Uh, they don't know that verse. <laughs> oh, but it was a teaching mother that was telling her son what type of a woman that would do him well. Because a mother knows her son and she knows the type of wife she needs. Uh, when you look at, I ain't getting no amens, but it, I'm, I'm not wrong. I am right. Because um, he can meet a cute woman that would make him crazy. So she knows the type of woman that uh, her son needs. We start to talk about holy women. We often refer to Ruth and how Ruth ended up with Boaz. And we seldom talk about her mother-in-law, right. Naomi, how that Ruth submitted herself to this mother in Zion. And Naomi was the one that instructed Ruth, look, this is how you end up with the kind of man you want. You can get a man, but the kind of man you want, because you can get a man and find out you don't want that one. But the kind you want, this is how you get this type of a man. Amen. You can't, let me stop that. I'm going. But nonetheless, Naomi was the one who instructed that daughter Ruth the type of a man that would do her well. And uh, old Barak, or Barak if you will, or Baruch, uh, he was sent out to war, but he told Deborah, he said, listen, I'm not going, except you come with me. And she told him, she warned him, said, now if I go, a woman's gonna get the credit for winning this battle. He said, but come on, because I'm trying to win the battle. I don't care who get the credit. And it was Deborah, and they sang a song about her saying, till I arose a mother in Zion. On today, we have a mother in Zion that's getting ready to bless us with the word, the gospel message 
on this morning. I would that you would clap your hands and let's praise God as we receive our own church mother, the mother Rose Brown. Come on, give it to her as she comes. for your love, your mercy, and your grace. And now, God, as we stand here before these, your people, we're asking you to word in our mouth in the name of Jesus. Let flesh be crucified, that it not glory in your sight. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You may be seated. I give honor to God, to his son Jesus, to our bishop, to our first lady. I thank God for being here, saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I thank God for that. God has been good to me down through my life. When I didn't even know it, he was good. When I was out there doing my so-called thing, he was good. Let me tell you, well, listen, happy Mother's Day. I can get ahead of myself, but I'm so glad that I'm saved on today. I thank God for my children. I don't talk a lot about my, my sons, but I thank God for them, and they have patience with me, and they listen to me. Amen. Don't you listen to me, Cal? <laughs> Amen. They listen to me. Amen. And uh, they are concerned about their mother, and I appreciate them for that. I appreciate uh, the help that they give to me. Amen. I thank God for you all. I love you all. When I cried, Lord, he delivered me. And so the scripture, Isaiah 66 and 13 says, as one whom his mother comforted, so will I comfort you, and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. And so I'm going to talk about bragging on God. Bragging on God. Bragging on God. And a few months ago, back in February, the Lord started talking to me about bragging on God. And I said, well, is that a Mother's Day message or not? Well, you can brag on God anytime. God, every day you can brag on God. Mother's Day, Father's Day, I don't care what day it is, you can brag on God. So as I was sitting in my chair, I was recuperating from surgery, and God started telling me about bragging on God. And so I want to encourage the mothers on today that you can brag on God. Right. Because God is on the side of all of us. But I'm talking about the mothers right now. Yeah. He's on your side. He's on your side, Sister Stephanie, and he got your back. I don't care what goes and what comes. Now, she works in the senior building. I live in the senior building. Hallelujah. And I do know that some of them seniors can show enough be cantankerous. And they can show enough cause some issues. And I be wondering myself, what in the world's wrong with these old people? And I'm old myself, but I be wondering what's wrong with them. Look like they need to go back and start all over again. <laughs> Glory to God. But we're living in a time where things are so difficult that it seems almost impossible to raise your children. And so sometimes, mothers, we be looking at them, well, how am I going to make it? How am I going to do this? And here we find in this scripture in Isaiah 66, the Lord was letting them know 
letting the children know that he was going to comfort them like a mother. No one can comfort you really outside of God like your mother can. Your mother has the endurance that regardless of what goes on in your life, she gonna love you. Sister Tanisha done already told you my message. Your mother gonna love you in spite of it all. She gonna say, that's my child. That's my child. Give him another chance, give him another chance, give him another chance. I don't know how many chances we get with mothers, just about as many as we get with God, and then some. Amen, bragging on God. So mothers, you don't have to do this by yourself. Why? Because you got God. We've got God. And Psalms 27 and 1 lets us know, the Lord said, the Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Now, the Lord got you. So we really don't have to worry about everything else that's going on. Now, I know we do get concerned. Don't misunderstand me. But when you come to yourself, realize that the Lord is your life. The Lord is your strength. And when you got the strength of God, you got everything you need. Hallelujah to Jesus. There's nothing that you don't need when you got the strength of God. God is the only one that can beat the devil. And he will beat him down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. And let me tell you something else. The Lord will make your children act right when they get too far out of line. Glory to God. Glory to God. When you are a mother and you praying and you, and you got your children on your heart and you start talking to the Lord, the Lord will make them come subject. Hallelujah. They ain't going to have to necessarily come subject to you and your flesh, but their show comes subject to the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So mothers, even when it seems like everything is going wrong, the strength of God, the strength of God will see you through. Amen. Amen. Raising children. Wow. I had three, three sons, and for the most of their life, I raised them by myself. And I was a strict parent. I, I, I was. And uh, that's true. He going to say, yeah, and yeah. And it's true. I, I just was. Uh, because I had to be. I didn't have a choice. But God is a God of strictness because he's a God of order and he's a God of discipline. And so he told us to raise our children, our natural children, with discipline and structure. They need structure, they need discipline. So too often times in today's society, uh, we're letting the children do the structure right. Now I don't know what happened with that, but I wasn't part of that generation. <laughs> Philippians 4.19 says, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now, there is no poverty in heaven. We leave off that part about by Christ Jesus. So if it's going to be by Christ Jesus, Jesus got everything. And we're his heirs and join heirs with him. And so y'all that know me, y'all know what I say. I say I'm living off my trust fund because I'm an heir of Jesus Christ. So I'm living off my trust fund. So my money can't never run out because I got a trust fund. And the benefit of my trust fund says, if I live right, glory to God, and walk up right before him, glory to God, and commit my way unto him, glory to God, he'll give me whatever I desire. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's my trust fund. Now, you can have the trust fund you want, but that's the one I got. Hallelujah. And there is no S on needs. It says need. Because whatever the need is, he got all of it. So he didn't have to pluralize it because he got everything all in one. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I remember, it's an old testimony, but it's a true testimony. I was raising my children, didn't have a job, didn't have no money, none of that. And the Lord put food, chickens, in my refrigerator. Now, 
every day, the Lord told me, say, go look in the refrigerator. I said, why am I going to look in the refrigerator? Ain't nothing in there. I ain't bought nothing. And the Lord said, go look in the refrigerator. I had a double door freezer. And I went and I would look in the refrigerator and it would be way down in the back of the freezer. Way down in the back of the freezer. And I'm going to tell y'all what, now chicken is my favorite food. Every one of them chickens had a stamp on it from Jewels. Because at that time, Jewels was my favorite store. And so every chicken had a stamp on it from Jewels. Now God is still working miracles. He didn't just feed the prophet in the cave. Hallelujah to Jesus. He put some food in my freezer. Hallelujah. And then, that wasn't where the miracle end. Mothers, when y'all feel like you can't make it, feel like there's no way, always know God got the way already made. You don't have to see it. You don't have to figure it out. God already done figured it out. And so the Lord blessed me with some food stamps. And I said, well, I prayed over them food stamps. Mother, y'all got to pray. Pray about everything. Pray about anything and everything. And I prayed over them food stamps, and I said, well, Lord, let these food stamps get everything I need. I didn't drive then, so here go me and Calvin. We on the bus, going to Jewels. And when the automatic doors in Jewels swung open for me to step in, the Lord said, get everything you need. I just asked him for what I, he, no, he said, get everything you want. I just asked for what I need. He said, get everything you want. And so we went on and went on and shopped and whatever. And I had about 10 bags of food. By the time we got home with the delivery man, those bags had doubled. God still wasn't through working miracles. At that time, I had a double door freezer and I had a walk-in pantry. And I had so much food that the freezer was full, the refrigerator side was full, the walk-in pantry was full, and I had to send some of that food out to my mother's house. Wow. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So mothers, don't you ever feel like you can't make it. Because as long as you got the Lord, hallelujah, glory to God. Evo, shine out of the both sides. As long as you got the Lord on your side, he going to always make a way. And let me tell you something else. You ain't got to never take down to the devil. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, that wasn't in my notes, but I'm going to throw that in there for free. Glory to God. I had men offer me money. Men say, I'm going to give you this. Men say, I'm going to give you that. I say, no, I can't do that. They say, well, I don't want nothing now. I say, yeah, you might not want nothing now, but you're going to want something sooner or later. And I ain't doing nothing now, and I ain't doing nothing later. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And God fed my children. They didn't never go without no food. They didn't never, and my, my sons and myself, we're meat eaters. We're meat eaters. And so the Lord told me, he says, let me tell you, if you work with the man of God, now that was Dr. Favors at that time. He said, your table will never be without meat. He didn't tell me bread. He told me meat. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And from that time to this one, it never had. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You ain't never got a one for nothing, mothers. You don't have to take down to the devil. Glory to God. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Acknowledge the Lord in everything that you do. Ask the Lord, what should you do? Ask, ask the Lord how to spend your money. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. Sometimes our money don't stretch because we're not spending it right. On, Glory to God. But when the Lord, when you acknowledge him in your money, the Lord will show you how to spend your money. And the Lord will stretch your money that your children would not have to ever know that you were short. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm telling you about what I know. Glory to God. Glory to God. Your children don't have to necessarily know what you're going through all, all the time. 
now that you know they don't have to know that all the time no. the Lord will help you figure out your future your present amen, amen. if it concerns you it concerns God I don't care what it is and God gave you your children I don't care if you think your children was an accident they were not an accident God allowed them to come through this channel and if he allowed them to come through this channel mother let me tell you he gonna make a way for you to take care of those children and you not gonna have to take down to the devil God is good when we acknowledge him then he'll let us know what we need to do. God was comforting the children of Israel after long suffering due. And then he wanted them to know he was going to be like a mother. Mothers, they restore. Mothers, they teach. Mothers, they discipline. Mothers, they correct. And mothers know how to do all that with tender, loving care. Yes. Amen. Mothers know how to do all that with tender, loving care. Mothers counsel. They referee. Lord, do we referee? Boy, we referee. And if you got more than one child in your house, you show enough a referee. You know how to referee. Because he looked at me and he said he didn't. And would you tell him he touched me and he said he didn't touch him? And so then you got to referee all that and try to figure out who's telling the truth and who's not. And in the end result, it don't make no difference. Both of y'all going to get a whooping if you don't go somewhere. Both of y'all going to get a whooping if you don't go somewhere and sit down. That clears up the whole matter. Don't nobody worry about who touched nobody because everybody go sit down in the house. Because every, everybody going to get a whooping. Praise God. Mothers know how. And I believe because God allowed mothers to go through the pain of labor, they understand what suffering is. If I think about it right now, my oldest son is going to be 60. If I think about it long enough and hard enough, I can remember those labor pains. As long as it's been, I can still remember it. And so God, I believe, allowed women to go through that pain so that they can understand what it is to bear a child and then suffer with that child. Because you went through to have that child. And there's no other love than like that of a mother for that child because she suffered with them. And I don't care how old your kids get. You still, that's still your child. And you know what else? You still don't want nobody to mess with them either. Still. They better not be bothering your, I got three sons, I don't know, and they all taller than me. But I don't want nobody to mess with them though. You know, and I don't listen to nobody come talking about you know, no, nah, we ain't having all that. Yeah. Now, if you got an issue, we can discuss your issue. But now, you know, all of that, you know, and all that, you know. <laughs> all, all that and all that. <laughs> We're not going to be doing all that. So, mothers, I want you all to be encouraged. I want you all to know that the Lord is with you. It doesn't matter what you're going through, what you're facing. You can make it. Yeah. You can make it. You can do this. Now, sometimes I know the devil tells you that you can't make it. The devil likes to tell you that there's nobody cares. The devil likes to tell you that don't nobody understand. But the devil is a lie. He always lying. He don't know nothing else to do but lie. So he can't do nothing but do what he do, and that's lie. So we can't be listening to that fellow. But then now another thing, mothers. You can't be too proud to ask for help when you need it. Amen. And you can't be too proud to accept help when you need it. Amen. Now, sometimes, mothers, we put a lot of blame on the church and the church's folks, and we say the church didn't help us, but then we ask the church for some help. 
Now, we're not swamis in here. We can't read your mind. We don't know what you have in need of. But the church is here to help you if you let us know what you need. Amen? Amen. 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 So we have to get it straight. Sometimes we feel like nobody cares. But if we don't position ourselves in a place to let somebody care for us, then it's difficult. And the devil have us putting blame where blame shouldn't be. Because I want you to know now, the devil don't want you to be among the saints. You don't want to know why? Ask me why. Because he's scared he might get cast out. That's why. He want to have you stuck at home all by yourself, you and your chillings, and thinking, don't nobody care about me and war with me. The devil is a lie. And we don't like him anyway. Praise God. Praise God. So let the church know what's going on with you. Amen. Find you some, some mothers strong. Amen. Now, don't, don't go to all the weak people. Because y'all know we got some weak people. And, you know, so don't y'all go to all the weak people. Now, you're going to always be able to find somebody, somebody. that's going to tell you what you want to hear. Yeah. Now, you're going to always find that. Yeah. But find you somebody that's going to tell you how to get some strength about yourself. Yeah. Now, come, if you come to me and tell me, Mother, I'm having a struggle with my flesh, you know what I'm going to tell you? I'm going to tell you, first of all, baby, you can make it. And second of all, I'm going to tell you, when you want to start a fast, I'm going to fast with you. That's what I'm going to tell you. Because you can make it. I'm not getting ready to tell you, oh, well, I, oh, well, I, yeah, and you do the best you can. I don't, I don't teach no weak salvation. You can make it. You can do this. And we're going to help you do this. We're going to help you do this. I don't have no problem turning my plate down. That's how I came through. That's how I made it. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm going to just be transparent. When I was struggling in my flesh, saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, I had to put my own self on a 21 day and night fast. Because I wanted to be delivered. Now, one thing about deliverance, you got to want it now. Now, God don't just force it on you, but you got to want to be delivered. But I wanted to be delivered. And I said, Lord, if you don't deliver me, as much as I love you and as much as I want to be saved, I'm gone as sure as my name is Rose Brown, and it is. So let me do something about this. So I put myself on the flag, on the fast, 21 days and nights. And like they was talking about in Sunday school, that was a good Sunday school. Y'all missed it. Y'all should have been there. Y'all start coming to Sunday school. As soon as Jesus came off the fast, he come to them. As soon as I came off that 21-day fast, I said, I know I got it now. Here come that low down devil. And it looked like my flesh was burning hotter than it ever was. 21 days and nights. I'm like, Jesus, this all you're going to do? And I prayed from the time I got home from work to about 10 o'clock. Finally, I said, well, it looked like Jesus ain't going to come say nothing. I might as well go ahead and call this man. Let him come on over here and take care of business put my hand on the phone, and the next thing I knew, the sun was coming through the window and woke me up. And I looked down and saw my hand on the phone, and I said, truly, I am delivered. Glory to God. 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 You ain't got to take down to the devil, but you got to put yourself in position to want to be delivered. God can do whatever you need, whenever you need him to do it. But be transparent. Be honest with God. Be honest with yourself. You know what you need. Now, you have, sometimes we act like we don't know what we need. We know what we need. Mothers, tell the Lord what you need. Tell the Lord about your children. Tell the Lord about yourself. Tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. He'll help you do anything. 
and everything. And I mean everything. Everything. You don't have to never, ever take down to the devil. I want you to know that. Always keep your integrity. Don't take nothing undercover. Nothing. If I had took that money from that man, even if I didn't sleep with him, he would have said yeah. to himself, I thought she was saved. Yeah. I told him, I said, no, I ain't taking your money. I ain't taking none now, because yeah. I ain't doing nothing now. I ain't doing nothing later. And I'm going to tell y'all this. You know what I have, well, how much money I had? I had 10 cents my in my wallet. 10 cents. That's all I had. But I wasn't getting ready to take down to the devil. And three children at that. Praise God. So mothers, you can make it. You can do whatever you need to do. God will see you through. Finally, this is my favorite, one of my most favorite scriptures. Psalm 91. The first verse says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, you know, a shadow is just an offset of the original. So now, you got somebody great if you're going to bow under his shadow. Not his wing, just the shadow of his wing. you just hiding up under that. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. God is the big thing. You can run to him and hide. And can't no devil in hell or out of hell, wherever he is, find you. Praise God. And verse 2, I read that because, now I love this. Thou shalt, ten, he says he will, God is in my trust, my fortress. Because verse 7 says, a thousand shall fall at thy side. 10,000 at that right hand, but he's not going to let it come now you. That's why you don't have to worry, Sister Stephanie, because he ain't going to let the devil come now you now. I don't care how many threats they make. I don't care how much they say they're going to shoot you in the face and, and, and slash your ties. He said he wasn't going to let them come now you. Why? Why is he going to do that? Verse 11 says, for he shall give his angels charge over thee hallelujah yeah. to keep thee in all thy ways he gonna keep you in everything mother he gonna keep you in everything you don't have to fret you don't have to worry verse 14 verse 14 says why is he gonna do this now you got to make sure this is true for you because he has set his love upon me therefore Will I deliver him? I will set him on high because he has known my name. Now you got to make sure that's what you're in now. And then what is he going to do? Verse 15 and 16. He shall call upon me. That's talking about you and I. And I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. My, 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 my. Who better to honor you than God? When God honors you, you're talking about being honored by somebody. Yeah. Now, we can honor you. I can say give honor to this one and give honor to that one, and we should. Yeah. And it's good, and it's right. But when God honors you, you've been honored by somebody. Yeah. Verse 16 said, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. With long life, who better to be honored by than God? I was thinking as I, the Lord was telling me about bragging on God. God said, well, you can talk about me because I done seen you through a lot of stuff. And I said, well, yeah, God, you have. And so the last five years of my life, the Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. All of them now, y'all. Not some of them. And not maybe half, but all of them. So the last five years was a lot for me. And so I told y'all about my surgery and all that and all that. And then they were talking about cancer over here. 
So they didn't find no cancer over there. So then two years ago, they told me, they said, well, you got these calcifications in your left breast. And so we want to keep a check on it every six months. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> do what you got to do. But I still know Jesus. But I, hey, every six months, that's what y'all want to do. I'll come back. So then last year, now I still got this other struggle going on in my body now. Last year they said, well, we're going to do a biopsy because the calcifications, are, they change. And we're going to put some markers in. I said, okay, that's fine. <laughs> do what you got to do. You know, that's, that. hey, hey, do what you got to do. And I still know Jesus. Yeah, right. Jesus is still Jesus as far as I'm concerned. Jesus ain't told me nothing about no markers or nothing else. Now, Calvin looking at me strange because they don't know about this part because I never told them about this part. And I, I don't, I could tell my sons anything, but I don't want them to worry, so I just keep stuff to myself. And so anyway, we went on, they put these metal markers in my breast and all of that, so they want to see if the calcifications, if it moves, if the mass grows or whatever. So anyway, many afflictions are righteous, but the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. And so I started off telling y'all, when I cried, Lord, he delivered me. And so Thursday, I went back. And so they said, we want to do another six months. And so when I went back Thursday, they came through with the results saying, well, we see the markers, but we don't see no calcification. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 We don't even know what we don't even know what they were. All we see is the markers. We don't know where the calcifications went. They dissolved. Wherever. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When I cry, Lord, He delivered me. When I cry, Lord. When I cry, Lord. He delivered me. He delivered my poor soul. Happy Mother's Day. And we bragging on God. And y'all keep bragging on God, mothers. And know that you can make it. Because God got everything you need. Say amen for Bishop. When I cry, Lord. When I cry, Lord. When I cry. We want to anoint and pray for all of the mothers. I cried, oh Lord. He delivered me. I cried, oh Lord. He delivered me. I cried, oh Lord. He delivered me. He delivered my poor soul. And I cried, Lord. He delivered me. When I cried, Lord. He delivered me. When I cried. I cried, oh Lord. He me. I cried, oh Lord. He me. I cried, oh Lord. He delivered me. He delivered my poor soul. The mothers, the mothers, the mothers. If you're not a mother, I'm not calling for you. All mothers. I don't mean the mother's board. I mean you that have children. Come on, praise team and help us sing. He delivered my poor soul when I cried, Lord. He delivered me when I cried, Lord. He delivered me when I cried, Lord. He delivered me. He delivered my poor soul. I cried, Oh Lord. He delivered me. I cried, Oh Lord. He delivered me. I cried, Oh. Lord. 
He delivered my poor soul. I cried, oh Lord. He delivered me. I cried, oh Lord. He delivered me. I cried, oh Lord. He delivered me. He delivered my poor soul. Come on, clap your hands with us and let's praise the Lord. Tell you that I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Oh, oh I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Take it a little faster. I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Be all right. Be all right. I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Oh, I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Oh, I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Jesus, he told me that everything's going to be all right. Jesus told me everything's going to be all right. Oh, Jesus, he told me everything's going to be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Oh. Holy Ghost, he told me that everything's going to be all right. Oh, Holy Ghost told me everything's going to be all right. Oh, the Holy Ghost, he told me everything's going to be all right. He's going to be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Oh, then I I believe that everything's gonna be all right. Oh, I believe everything's gonna be all right. Oh, I believe everything's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Oh, gonna be, be all right. Gonna be. Right. It's gonna be, be all right. All right. Be all right. All right. Gonna be all right. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Jesus said it. Jesus said it. Jesus said it. Jesus said it. The Holy Ghost said it. Holy Ghost said it. It's going to be, be all right. All right. All right. All right. Going to be all right. All right. If there's somebody else that say, I'm not a mother, but I desire prayer, you can get in this line right now. You say, I'm not a mother, but I do want prayer. You can get in this line right now. It's going to be, going to be all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Gonna be all right. Holy Ghost said. Holy Ghost said. Holy Ghost said. Holy Ghost said. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Gonna be all right. Gonna be all right. Come on, y'all, help us say it. All right. Clap your hands with us. All right. Gonna be all right. Hold on. Gonna be all right. Don't give up. Gonna be all right. Gonna be all right. 
going to be all right. Everything going to be all right. Everything going to be all right. Everything, 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 everything. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. I tell you that I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Oh, I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Oh, I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Be all right. Be all right. praise hallelujah come on clap your hands and give him praise come on give him the glory it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right all right it's gonna be all right yes it is tell your neighbor it's gonna be all right whoa glory 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now listen, there may be someone here that's not saved and want to be saved. If you make your way down here to this altar, you say, preach, I'm not saved. I want to be saved. If you come on down here now, we want to pray with you. Amen. Just got a feeling everything going to be all right. Thank God. Amen. God bless you. Now listen. Uh, this precious sister came to us last week. Where's Sister Kim Young at? She was, oh, you're right here. I couldn't find you. You moved. Amen. And uh, she came with her mom, and her mom said she want to come on over here and be with us. Is that it? All right. Mama, what's your full name? Evelyn Brown. This is Mother Evelyn Brown. And her daughter's over here. She got a niece or something over here. And she want to come on over here and be with us. That's all right with me. She says, it's fine with me. <laughs> hey, man, mother, how old are you? 78. 78. Young lady. Look at that. All right, this is Mother Evelyn Brown. We want to receive her with the right hand of fellowship. Hey, Amen. As one of our new precious mothers. Amen. Hey, come on, y'all. Give a good God bless you for her. Amen. God bless you. Y'all can come on. These mothers, y'all want to welcome her. So you don't have to even get up. She stay right there. This is the missionary Kim Young's mother. Huh? So she got some help now. Y'all mess with her. She got mama. You know, mama don't want nobody messing with our kids. <laughs> God bless you. We welcome you to the Friendly Temple family. Amen. Who? All right, hold on. Amen. We thank God for uh, Mother Brown. And the door of a church is open. There may be someone else that wants this to be your church home. Amen. If you uh, raise your hand, we'll know by your coming. She could just stay where she is unless she just want to. Yeah, she stay right there. She probably don't want to go sit in that sun. Uh, amen. Unless she wants to. Yeah, I got you, man. I got you already. Amen. Anybody else? Amen. God bless you. Uh, we have some announcements to be made. Where are they? All right. Come on up. You can come right here, Sister uh, Maddie, and uh, make your.